Hi everyone, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today is 15 facts about the common yellow meadow ant, Lassius flavus. Welcome to the My Living World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Fact 1. The yellow meadow ant is one of the most common species in Central Europe. This species can be found across Central Europe as well as North Africa and Asia. But in North America, a different but related species, Lassius brevicornis, can be found. Fact 2. The workers are a golden yellow to brown and small in size. These ants appear a lovely golden brown colour and therefore getting the nickname the yellow meadow ant. They are quite small with the workers ranging from 2 to 4 millimetres and the queens which appear much darker in colour range from 7 to 9 millimetres in size. Fact 3. This species creates large mounds in fields. The yellow meadow ant is well known for creating mounds in fields and meadows. Some break through the grass and appear over the grass with large piles of soil, whilst others will look like small hills of grass. Fact 4. The Latin name of the yellow meadow ant is Lassius flavus. The genus of Lassius consists of black or brown species of ants, and the name flavus means yellow, therefore representing the yellow colour of this species. Fact 5. Lassius flavus are mostly subterranean. This means that the species spend the majority of their time underground. They are a fairly timid species, and are much more active underground. They do not forage far from the nest, and are not as commonly found scouting compared to Lassius niger, the common black ant. Fact 6. They farm underground aphids, living off grass roots. Yellow meadow ants, like many other species of ants, will farm aphids for their sweet nectar. However, this species does this below ground. Rather than farming aphids high up on buds of flowers and fruit trees, they will farm aphids from the ground, which feed off grass roots. Fact 7. They will hibernate from late October to early March. This species will become less active as they get to the winter months. Slowly, their metabolisms will slow down, and they will become inactive for many months, living off their reserves which they will store, lasting them until they re-emerge in late February to early March. Sometimes, they will even eat the aphids that they farm for sugar, and use them for protein instead. Fact 8. Established colonies will reach around 5,000 individuals. The average colony of Lassius flavus will consist of a few thousand, and more established colonies will reach 5,000 to 10,000. Fact 9. They do not have a strong enough sting or bite to hurt humans. This species is very timid, and would not usually attack. In the case that a worker was to bite or attack a human, the bite and sting is not strong enough to break human skin, and are therefore quite harmless. Fact 10. This species is monogene, but will sometimes be polygene. Lassius flavus predominantly have just one queen in the colony. When more than one queen is found in a colony, usually workers will kill one or even both of the queens. When populations reach extraordinary numbers, sometimes they will become polygene, consisting of more than one queen. Fact 11. This species is often mistaken for the red stinging ant, Myrmica rubra. When people dig up nests by accident in allotments or gardens, they are often mistaken for red ants. Although the European fire ants are slightly larger and much darker in colour, appearing a dark red to brown colour. Fact 12. The yellow meadow ant has a relationship with the chalk hill blue butterfly. This species is already known to farm aphids for their honeydew, but the species Lassius flavus is also known to tend to the larvae of the blue chalk hill butterfly. They take the caterpillar inside the nest, where it has protection from outside predators. In return, the ants will milk it for honeydew, just like the aphids, although one caterpillar would be able to produce much larger quantities of honeydew, therefore feeding many more ants. Fact 13. It takes 6-9 to nine weeks from egg to worker. This species is a slower growing species, and will take around 1-2 to two months from egg to worker. If there is a large amount of protein, and higher temperature provided, this can speed up the process. Fact 14. They have low pigmentation because of their underground lives. Because this species spends nearly all of its time underground, they have evolved to develop a very low pigmentation as well as having very small eyes for spending so much time underground. Although nearly all ants nest underground, this species is known not to spend much time outside of the nest, and not to forage very far. Fact 15. This species is the perfect beginner ant to keep. This species is easy to raise, and fairly small, and hibernates for several months, requiring no care during this time. Caring for this species. Keeping yellow meadow ants is very easy, and Lassius flavus is a great species for beginners. They love their sweet foods like honey or fruit, and will still take small amounts of protein like cooked chicken or mealworms. They are fairly small and don't require difficult conditions, and from the months of October to March, they will go into hibernation, 
where they will become dormant and not need feeding until they come out of hibernation. When keeping this species, be mindful, they are a peaceful slow growing species that requires patience. If you like this 15 fact video, please let me know in the comments below. Coming up in next week's video, 15 facts about the wood ant, Formica fusca. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video.